I'm starting to panic a little bit. My body's in a lot of pain. I just draw a smile, Summon. I'm not feeling great. I'm in a lot of pain and I'm walking. I sure as hell hope I finish the marathon. Hi, I'm Morgan and I will be running the New York City Marathon in 30 days. So I work out pretty frequently, everything from high intensity interval training to Pilates, yoga, a whole mix of things. So both my parents are athletes and have run many marathons and triathlons. I was never a runner. Training for the marathon hasn't made me love running and I've never understood the runner's high. So I work really closely with a charity called Smile Train and they provide cleft palate and lip surgeries to children globally. They came into my office where I work and they were talking about ways to get involved. One of the ways was running the New York City Marathon. Growing up in New York my entire life, I watched the marathon every year. I loved watching it and every year almost I would walk away like in tears. So inspired by the runners and I always said, I'm gonna do it one day, I'm gonna do it one day and this year, the opportunity just actually presented itself to me. I have notoriously a lot of injuries from dancing my entire life. So I have a really bad back. I have bad knees. I'm just not set up to run a marathon. But the first reaction of everyone who I know was like, I don't think that you should be running the marathon. My boyfriend was like, you need to go see your, your knee surgeon immediately before you commit to something like this. Just the idea of getting the, like past that finish line is what's motivating me to get through. So prior to training for the marathon, I have been going to workout classes or the gym five to six times a week. Now my schedule is really shifting so that I'm running three to four times a week and then doing strength training to make sure that everything else is supporting me throughout the race. I sure as hell hope I finish the marathon. I will be crawling across the finish line if I have to. It's 55 degrees out, coldest weather I've run in. I'm heading out for four months this morning. Wish me luck. So when I first started training for the marathon, my back was starting to ache. My knees would really bother me after even the three mile runs or the five mile runs. I am in Florence, Italy, seeing the city by running. Now that I'm starting to integrate longer runs into my training, other injuries are starting to come up. So I got back from a trip last night really late and it's just been really hard for me to run again. I'm really starting to get scared about the marathon. So my foot is really starting to bother me. I'm trying to focus on getting prepared mentally um, for that to happen. Time to run off all the pasta. Starting with five miles. Knowing that I don't have to finish in some crazy time. I don't need to finish in like four hours or even four and a half hours. We're officially three weeks out from the marathon. I'm starting to panic a little bit because my left knee my left foot are really bothering me on long runs. And I have my longest run coming up this weekend before I start tapering off distance. And I just don't know how I'm gonna make it across the finish line at this point. Okay, we're heading out for a four mile run today and I'm feeling pretty good, pretty motivated because I hit my fundraising minimum last night, literally at the 11th hour. So we're gonna go out there and kill it today. 16 days out from the marathon and heading out for a three mile run for my long run tomorrow, my last long run. My other two runs this week, my foot hasn't been bothering me as much. I'm gonna go for three today before my long run tomorrow and then I'm done with long runs until the big day. Counting every last mile can be really grueling throughout the training process. We are heading out for 15 miles today. And this is gonna be my longest run of my entire training because my foot and my knee are just not great. If I can get to mile 23 with adrenaline and with the thousands of people who I'm surrounded by, then I think that I can, I can make it those last three miles and be really proud of myself when I cross the finish line. So I haven't run since my 15 mile run on Saturday. My body's in a lot of pain still from it. We will see how this goes. We only have a couple short runs left. Running is Hudson. Three miles, eight days to the marathon. Woo! We've officially started the seven day countdown to the marathon. I'm not feeling super great about it. My knee is really bothering me. Six day countdown, heading out for 5K. Woo! I'm gonna pick up my bib. Let's get in real. We are 48 hours from the race and not feeling great about it. I woke up several times last night because I had fears that I I'm not gonna finish. The last 24 hours have been kind of a whirlwind of emotion and starting to have a lot of doubts 
about the race itself, not finishing, finishing last. So I'm out here running three final miles, 48 hours before the actual marathon, and I'm just gonna take it easy the rest of the weekend and try to gain my confidence back. I can't believe the day is finally here. I am headed to the marathon and I just have a lot of nerves and I'm feeling the adrenaline. Didn't sleep very well last night, but I'm feeling really good about it. See you on the race course. Trying to conceptualize and wrap my head around running 26.2 miles was always really tough for me. Just being in this crowd of people in the marathon village where you're surrounded by thousands and thousands of people. We're at the start line. Really excited. The drama room's kicking in. And seeing all of them preparing and seeming like they all knew that they, what they were doing. And here I was, someone who had never run more than 15 miles and that was only in my training. Not even knowing like what to wear or what things to come prepared with. I just finished mile one. I was just trying to convince myself to start the race really, really, really slow. And even then I started and went too fast. We're in a little bit too fast, 10 minute pace. Trying to slow down. I just crossed mile seven and I'm about to see my friends in mile eight. Having people there to cheer me on and being able to actually stop because I wasn't timing myself for the marathon to spend time and just take in all of the interactions with my friends and family who came out to see me was so, so important to me. I just got down to the bottom of the Queensboro Bridge. At mile 20, I really hit a wall when I hit the Bronx. I didn't have any friends or family there to cheer me on. It was really rough. I'm in a lot of pain right now. Once I hit mile 22, I saw my friends and family again, and I couldn't even stop to say hi to them. I just got back into Manhattan and I'm not feeling great. I'm in a lot of pain and I'm walking. I wanted to break down and cry. I wanted to quit the race. But I see the out from the finish line. On to the final mile. Once I hit mile 23 and I was in Central Park, I felt the adrenaline. I was able to run again. Back in it. I felt like my legs kind of went numb to help me get to the end of the race. Holy <laughs> 25.9. Point three to go. Having so many people cheering you on as the sun was going down and just the buzz was absolutely amazing. <laughs> My biggest challenge, I think, was just wrapping my head around finishing the marathon. I just crossed the finish line, I can't believe I did it. Getting past that finish line was really, really hard to do, but it was really the crowds that carried me through and really just the willpower of knowing that I could get past another mile and another and another and another. It's over. Like I could cry thinking about crossing the finish line again. Woo! Just the feeling of crossing that finish line and then going and grabbing the medal from someone and then being handed your poncho and being let out of the park with all of these other finishers was completely surreal. After I went home and I parked myself on my couch and ordered a Shake Shack burger and french fries and a milkshake and I continued to eat for the next 48 hours straight, I had about seven meals the next day. I think I would run the New York City Marathon again. Being a New Yorker and being able to run through the boroughs and represent the city and be among the crowds of all of the people who are on the sidelines and the other runners. It's such an amazing feeling. Weirdly, I think I do love running. So I'm trying to be realistic about my feelings and that I still am in the post-marathon high. We'll see if, if I'm inspired still in January. If you're considering a marathon, just go for it. It's really terrifying to see that distance and even look at the route and idealize yourself running through all of those places, especially when you're going through training and you don't have the crowds and you don't have any of the cheering or any of the adrenaline, but it really is the most rewarding feeling in the entire world knowing that you accomplished that.